inverter direct drive smart drum and if you have a, a pretty good size leak coming out of the back of your machine okay first of all i'm going to show you where the leak is coming from my assistant here there are four screws on the back panel and then it slides down out of that clip and then once we get that out of the way where the leak is coming from is right up here there is an overflow there and that is where mine is leaking from if yours is leaking from uh, that area also stay tuned we're going to show you how to fix it now on this back cover there are two screws one on this side uh, one on this side and my assistant has just removed that screw go around and we're going to take out that screw and then we're going to show you how that back part and pops she's up. removing the other screw other way lefty lucy remember there you go Okay, it looks like it's loose. You go ahead, assistant, give it a good pop. Pop it up, keep going. There you go, you got it. Good job. And on the back, uh, actually towards the front, you'll see there's uh, three clips across the front that have to be pried out of there. Uh, be gentle, like my, we'll set that aside. And what we reveal, what we've left with is um, the uh, controls that control the water flow and such. Uh, the one in question is the one, here assistant, I'm going to open this up once, is the one that's controlling this liquid bleach. That's what's causing the leak. It's, uh, it's backfilling somehow, and uh, I don't use that. Maybe that's why it's starting to fail. I don't know. But it won't work after this fix. But the control for that, oh, and obviously uh, unplug uh, your washer before you do Okay. Um, the one in question is the one on the left here. We are going to unplug this. And then unplug the other ones. And then um, we will do a trial run and we will see if it's leaking or not. All we're doing is disconnecting the uh, liquid bleach uh, where the water comes in for that, I believe. After talking to LG and uh, doing some research, research, I think that is the problem. That's what the back plate's going to go back on the back cover. I'm going to uh, slide it under those clips and then we'll line up the four screw holes and my assistant. I think we got this one. Okay. Wait, All right. Wait, I need we to got see. three more to do. Okay. You can note, remember there's two clips at the top and there are two at the bottom that the bottom uh, goes on top of. So you just have to bend the plate a little bit and and uh, fit them in there and my assistant here is doing a wonderful job